Well, hello, Gray. How are you? Nice to see you again, Dr. Gray. Well, hello. <laughs> it's great to be here. We've got a great vet, a guest for you this morning. I know. I see this. Um, this is a baby jaguar, is that correct? It is. It's the first jaguar baby we've had in probably close to a decade or more. Really? And uh, right now, Jungle Josh, our education curator, is helping me. Hi, but, Jungle uh, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Marlon Perkins had his Wrangler. Uh, you've Jim got Fowler, your Jungle yeah, Josh. I'm getting old for this job, so it's nice to have Josh. Yeah, I notice he's out. holding the hungry baby jaguar. Yeah, just to get things started. But I do have a bottle for it. And, Wonderful. And this is, an, this is a treat. You know, Josh, if you want to hand it I'll, I'll just watch it's over here, Gray. You keep your little animal over so there. I'm sure he's ready. Oh, to, boy. Oh, boy. He's hungry. Uh, yeah, uh-oh. And, uh, there we go. And there he, we go. He has, oh, nice you'll kitty. You'll see by the time we're done here, he'll have a nice little milk mustache. Uh, got um, milk? He does have milk. And uh, this is Fitz. And he's just a great little guy. Why is he named Fitz? Well, in honor of our great wide receiver, Larry, Larry Fitzgerald. Ah. Uh, we talked to Larry's uh, uh, assistant, and he, I guess he had a very big smile on his face when we got, he got the news that... He's got paws the size of Larry Fitzgerald. And strength and speed, and it's just a beautiful animal. And, of course, Larry's a great player and a great representative for us here in town. So we thought it would be great to honor Larry mm-hmm. this way. So. That's wonderful. Yeah. And uh, has he ever been to a Cardinals game? Not yet, but he does have his favorite Cardinals, uh, you know, Know, chew toy here. Uh huh. You know, I so see. There we go. Oh boy, is he a sloppy eater? He wow. is a sloppy eater. Yeah, he, he's beginning to eat meat uh, once Wonderful. a day. Uh-huh. So he, over time, he'll lose his suckle response here in favor of eating meatballs. But uh, good for him. Yeah, who doesn't like a good meatball? But as you can see, <laughs> yes, he, he likes to wear a lot of his milk. Is that infant formula he's drinking? Or what is it he's drinking? It's actually a commercial formula. It's a, com- a combination of two different variety commercial mm-hmm. formulas that we found works well with the larger uh, feline yes. species. It varies. Uh, you know. Some animals go on KMR, some go on s black, some go on some other mm-hmm. formulas that are out there. Uh, we sometimes supplement it with additional vitamins and that sort of thing, so, depending on the animal. Now, how does his strength at this age, and how old is he again? He's about seven weeks old. Oh, wow, that's all? That's it. Uh, compared to when he's full grown. Males can get to be about 200 pounds or more. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are reports that they get even bigger than that in some cases. Wonderful. But uh, females a little bit smaller. Uh, of course, the jaguar is found throughout the... Uh, South American continent, mm-hmm. Central America, and even in parts of the Southwest originally, mm-hmm. uh, including Arizona. Not so much these days, but uh, wow. they are the largest predator in the New World. Uh. And uh, I don't want to scare you, but unlike leopards and lions and, and other large felines that rip your throat out, uh-huh. these actually have the strength to crush your skull, and that's how they Wonderful. typically hunt. And you brought crush. him in hungry. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Is, can he do that now? Not yet, no. What, no, what, but what his, kind his, of damage his, could he cause now, Gray? Mostly with his claws. Uh, oh, know, he has retractable claws like you know, a house cat does, but uh-huh. uh, very long, and, and uh, I've already been scratched up a little bit today. But, yes. you know... The trade-off is I get to hang out with a baby jaguar. He's for a very few hours, cute. So. He is very cute. He's in our uh, baby animal nursery at Wildlife World right now, uh, so people can see him on display when he's not here at, mm-hmm. at your show, Beth. He certainly is very cute. He is and, very cute. Uh, are, are these en- endangered at all? You know, sadly, they are losing habitat, and what habitat they have left uh, f- it is still very expansive, but it's becoming fragmented. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can have great numbers of animals, but if they can't reach each other and, and make a date, then long term the survival numbers go down. Will he have a date out at the Wildlife World Zoo anytime uh, soon? Uh, not anytime soon. It'll take mm-hmm. a couple years for that. You know, we want to have him enjoy his childhood. Well, when but, does he, uh, of course we do. But uh, yes, certainly that long term, that would be something we would look at. at. When, what age would he be uh, thinking uh, about having a girlfriend? Well, as is typical in nature, males typically do that much younger, of maybe at, at two years of age mm-hmm. for a jaguar, two to three. Females probably a little bit older than that. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, we're, right now, we're just happy to have him and, and want him to get off to a great start, which he has so, so far. Are you looking for a cougar? Pretty <laughs> <soon>? <laughs> <laughs> well, only to snack on, perhaps. But, uh, you know, actually, cougars uh, do fall all the way through South America as well, and they actually share much of the same habitat and don't seem to bother each other too much. The mm-hmm. cougars seem to take different size prey than yes. the jaguar. I've typically. seen them at Kierland at exactly, work. Exactly. I know. I know they do. My wife tells me to stay away from there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, stay away from the cougars. Great. But, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if you can see from over there. We'll, we'll have to show him to him before we walk out. He's looking at me. He is. Kind of funny. He's, he, he, he was kind of locked in on you there for a yes, second. Yes, he was. He, even though he is uh, black coloration, he has black spots. 
spots, and you can see them up close. Oh. And as he matures, they'll, the spots will be a little more distinctive like they are in his mother. But his dad is actually yellow with black spots. Ah. So you see both uh, color morphs oh. in, in nature. Look at those teeth. I just saw them. Yeah, for a little guy, he's got some big canines, doesn't he? He can't They're, strike quickly, I don't require, can he? Um, well, he's kind of clumsy still at this point. Good. And, and, and he would take out Marty before he got to you. Yay. So. <laughs> That's right. We have to keep the host around. That's uh, nature's way. Well, he's very... Uh, oh, boy. Is the bottle finished, Gray? The bottle's not finished, but I think he had to burp. So. Okay. Well, there you burp go. him. <laughs> and uh, I'll watch from over here. All right. Sounds All right. Good. Jungle Jim, will you keep me protected, please? From Oh, boy. Milk What's he shower. doing? Okay, there he's, we go. He's a, he's a finicky cat. He doesn't like milk on his paws. Well, he's very cute. <laughs> Thank you, Gray, for bringing him down here. Thank thanks, you, thanks little Fitz. Is he going to growl? Can he growl or anything? Or uh, uh, You no, don't make him growl. I probably won't growl. Just a little gas. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll have a gas off here. I'm feeling the same way this morning.